Anyway, I found it now. Let's see what's in so what is this? Whiskey and vodka both having instant damage. I didn't know these piglins like to drink. Well, that's not very good for you, my guy. Welcome to x Skyblock, Skyblock, where there are many unique islands to explore, dimensions to visit, hidden loot to uncover, and a secret cult on the island. Mob spawns are increased in this map, so nighttime will be even more dangerous. Now sit back, and I hope you'll join me in this adventure of x Skyblock. Skyblock. So day one started out just like every other let's play. We gotta get the wood, we gotta get the basic tools. I think we already know how it goes. Also today I'm gonna be trying out Sildur's Vibrant Shaders on this map. Usually I use BSL, so this should be a good change. Next I'm gonna work on breaking off this whole stone pillar thingy in the middle of my island. Yeah, I guess that pretty much wraps up day one. It was very traditional, just getting ores, a little base getting set up, and also tried spawn proofing as much of the island as I could with some torches. Nothing really interesting going on yet. And starting out day two, we got some mining going on and came across our first pieces of iron. Now you might have noticed that there are hearts down there that just aren't hardcore hearts. This is a pre-made map, so I couldn't change the mode, but we are just going to pretend that I'm in hardcore. If I die, I'll be over. And also you can download and play this map yourself, so there'll be a link in the description. The version is 1.16.1, so no 1.17 cool features. Now food will eventually be a problem, so I started out with farming some seeds from the grass, and I created a tiny little farm right here next to this pool of water. Now I hope this thing will provide us with enough food, but honestly it's pretty slow, so I'm not sure if this will last for us very long. Now from days 3 to 6, I started working on the layout of our house, but first I had to clear out this huge area that was like a big mound, and I need to flatten out some spots of our island. So basically, I'm just cleaning up parts of the island and making things flatter. I also spent most of these days just gathering a ton of wood and other materials for the base. Also, I just want to point out that in this shader pack, the reflections during the rain just look so cool on the ground. I really like that. The ground kind of looks a bit more wet, I guess? On day 7, I spent a bit more time mining, and I also found this cool cave over here. I made my way down into it and appeared there was some lava at the bottom and some redstone as well. There's a lot of coal in here too. I was also able to get an iron pickaxe and some leggings for basic protection. And this huge tree grew over here, I already know it's going to be a pain to cut down. On day 8, I got an iron bucket and filled it up with the lava here. So hopefully I can create a cobble generator and not mess it up like I usually do. And let me get this water thing and I think this should be okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Created a cobble generator, an essential in all skyblock maps. Also, food is starting to become a problem. These apples ain't cutting it for me anymore. At least we got a lot of trees now, but I really need to make this farm bigger. I continued to mine some more, but I need to save this iron pick because iron is not a regenerating resource, so I only have limited amounts of it. Still mining, gotta get this red stone here. Trying to get as many ores as I can right now. Whoa, I do not want to fall down that hole. <laughs> Let me patch that up. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna spend these next couple of days just getting some more ores so I don't have to mine later on. I made my first couple of loaves of bread, eaten my first piece of nice food. That feels great. Mmm, yummy. Also, these boots are the last thing I need and now we got full iron armor. Let's go. Well, now that these trees are finally here, it's a great time to start chopping them. Grinding out some trees are just so exciting, right guys? I'm also gonna start mining some cobble from our cobble gen, because we're gonna need a lot for our house and also to bridge over to other islands as well. So it's a good idea to get an accumulation of cobblestone early on. Alright, so I've got this flat mound over here, but I've decided to take this whole thing down one more block. This took a while, but um, I guess that was fun. <laughs> And once I finally got that finished up, I started laying down kind of the foundations of our house that I was going to build. I wanted it to be relatively small, not too big because this island isn't that big either. I wanted it to look somewhat nice as well. I kind of put it on the edge of the island too. And I'm doing like that 5x5 five five strategy, I think. I hope I can get a bed soon because I hate being out here at nighttime. The problem is I haven't seen any mobs spawn on the island yet. I think it's just because I've been too close. Because I think it would be a certain distance away for the mobs to spawn. But yeah, we need spiders here, definitely. Good thing I have a ton of trees just ready on my access. I've been planting down a ton of saplings, so I've got a lot of wood for this project. I was constantly going back and forth, gathering materials and also building. During these couple of days, I also expanded our farm area, making like an extrusion from our island, so that we could have a more organized farming space to get bread a bit faster. 
All right, well, fast forward a little bit of time. Here's what we got on our house so far. I think it looks pretty calm and subtle with the stripped wood and then the glass panes as well as the glass blocks. Small issue though, glass is very limited on our island. We just have a tiny little splotch of sand next to our little pond. Also, I wanna travel over to that island over there. It has a cool looking abandoned village. It might have a bit of loot for us to go and take and it also might be the closest island to us, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start getting ready for that. And later that day, I made some more details on the inside of our house. This is how we are going to be getting to the second floor. Let me make some ladders real quick here. So yeah, this house has started to come together. I really like this. I like this cool little second story right here. It's kind of a second story. Oh, come on. It's raining now. And next up, I started digging out the ground to add some flooring in because we don't want to be walking on dirt and also adding a little platform up there. Yeah, just going to fill up this whole area with some wood. Now, I think today is finally the day where we're going to start branching off to other islands. I know it's exciting, right? We've been on this main island for like 19 days now it's time to start thinking about exploring other places so i'm gonna have some torches here and i was actually thinking about making this thing too wide but i think i'm gonna just make it one wide for now get over to the other island and then when we come back maybe we can make it too wide just to be more safe i went back to farm some more cobblestone and also get some more torches and look at this thing the increased mob spawns really do make a difference this island is filled with mobs right now at least there's spiders there which means you can probably make a bed soon yeah this thing is absolutely crazy right now those skeletons can probably shoot me off so i should like maybe at like a waterfall thing to make it a little bit more safer. I think I should probably return in the daytime. Honestly, our food source is actually doing pretty well right now. We've got a lot of wheat in here. This should be able to make us a couple more pieces of bread. We got nine. Yeah, the farm's coming together pretty nicely. Ooh, and we're almost here to the other island. Let's go. I'm just gonna quickly reinforce this really quick to make sure I don't fall off at all. All right, that's it. Now let's check out this island. So we've got some, uh, I see horses, I see sheep. That's pretty good. Also, it seems like there's a ravine down here. That's nice. We can explore that later. And most importantly, this house. And we've got a bed. That's the first thing we're gonna take. We need that thing desperately. And in the chest, we got potatoes. Potatoes, saplings, apples, uh, emeralds, that's about it. We can make a potato farm, but I think bread is a better food source, so I'm just gonna keep on using bread. Yeah, the ravine is pretty much the main attraction of the island, I think. There's not really else much on here. Whoa, I just saw this cool icicle-looking island over there. We definitely gotta check that one out soon, man. Oh my gosh, a lot of bridge building is gonna be needed. Alright, time for some more mining. I'm just gonna check out the ravine that the island has and just get all of the iron and the coal that I can see. Wait a minute, I noticed this like black thing right on the side here. It's... I don't know what block this is. I'm gonna break it real quick. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a bl it's black con- why is there black concrete? It looks like there's a sign in there as well. What is this mysterious room? It's so dark. Uh, no, 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 no. That, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm just gonna leave it there because it doesn't look like it's too significant. That's a bit creepy. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna go back to mining. Alright, so during these next two days, I cleaned up a little bit of things and I continued mining around inside this island, but I think there might not be anything here. I've made many different separate tunnels in here. I'm walking back in one of them right now, and there just appears to be no ores anywhere. Maybe this island's main purpose was to just get you the bed and all that stuff, so I'm just probably wasting my time, honestly. At least I got a ton of cobblestone now. That's a great plus from this. Alright, let's head back. Ah, uh, it's a great morning. Look outside, it's beautiful out there. We got our iron smelting inside this furnace. And also, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I just moved everything back from uh, our outside setup inside. So everything is inside this mega double chest right here. It's looking pretty great, but I think now we gotta start trying out some other islands as well. Before we leave, actually, I'm gonna harvest our little wheat farm over here. Things are growing pretty nicely. Most of this stuff is fully grown, so we should have a lot of bread. And the next island that I actually ended up choosing was this cool spruce biome over here. We can get some access to some spruce wood, which if you guys don't watch my main hardcore series, you'll know that is my favorite wood to build with. So that definitely sparked my attention. But anyway, you can see right now that I'm making things double thick right now. I just spent a bunch of time thickening our paths so that there's a less chance of us falling off. We want to be safe here and we only got one life. Okay, so I'm back home right now, and I'm not quite sure how I forgot about this, but I need to make a shield because a lot of the skeletons on the island are causing me some trouble. I don't want to get knocked off, so this shield should save me sometimes. Let's go check this island out. So once I got on the island, there was a ton of skeletons and zombies and a couple spiders as well. And originally I thought I was going to be okay with this shield, but I quickly realized that the mobs were just, there were just too many. Some of the zombies were actually starting to gang up on me. Come here, mom! And at one point, I almost fell off my staircase. Oh. 
But at the end, I saw a couple creepers coming my way and I knew that I could not do this. I needed a bow. So I began running away. I had to abort the mission. Too many mobs. We gotta leave. Luckily, I was actually able to get exactly enough string for a bow from those spiders that I killed. But I forgot one crucial detail. Where am I gonna get arrows from? We have one feather. We have enough sticks, but we have no gravel at all. Like, what was I thinking? We don't have any arrows. How am I gonna use this bow? So I spent this day cutting down trees, mining a bit into the side of this island, and also came across a creeper that blew up behind me and uh, it didn't even damage me though luckily. I literally never saw it, it was like invisible, that was kind of crazy. So um, I know you guys can hear that, am I, are my ears broken or am I hearing like a billion mobs down here? This is absolute. oh whoa, whoa, that looks dangerous. It sounds like there's like a billion mobs down here. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to loot this cave? This is gonna be one tough area to conquer. Come on, just kill these zombies right here. We should be okay. I gotta light up as much of this area as I possibly can. Oh, oh my, what is that? What is that down there, bro? The increased mob spawns are definitely a little glitched or bugged. Oh, whoa, that explosion, I think that might have helped. That actually helped. That killed like most of them there. That's crazy. Wait, maybe I can actually exploit these creeper explosions to kind of help me out instead of killing all these guys by hand. This is great, bro. Let's go. Yes, sir. Again, another explosion. This place should be safe now. Just one more creeper I gotta kill, actually. There we go. Yes, sir. Look at all this stuff, man. We got arrows everywhere. We got a ton of XP. I gotta stay looking down or else these Endermans are gonna kill me. But there's still a ton of mobs. You can still hear them. And the rest of the time, I basically just spent mining up some more iron. Of course, with the huge rack going on in the background you guys will not believe this forget all the loud racket going on but we found a mound of gravel which means all we need now is to just to figure out how to get some feathers and then we can make a bunch of arrows which is gonna be super helpful because the sword is kind of dangerous with all these creepers and stuff on the island and after that i had to get some more pickaxes and just did a bit more mining 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 it's been a while of just me mining i think i'm ready to be done with this so after that extensive mining session, I returned home and I was able to make a brand new bow from the bows that I got from those skeletons and also upgraded some of my tools. And it's also harvesting season. On that abandoned village island, there were some sheep, so I just bred them real quick. I might as well just do it since I got a ton of wheat. Okay, so next destination is that little snowy biome over there. I want to go over there because it's going to reach us close to that really cool icicle peak island, which is what I want to get to eventually. The island was honestly not that interesting. The only thing that was different from this one from the last was probably just that little ice pond but other than that it was pretty much the same it had those same spruce wood trees i mined a bit as well into the island to see if there was going to be anything going on inside but i didn't really find much so enough of that island i want to move on already and get over to this cool looking icicle one now this is also a time when i really wished i could have my elytra because walking through these paths every day or every night not really during the day to go to bed and like put some stuff back it just it takes a really long time also i thought i'd share this but i got my very first bow kill on the skeleton right here i should get some cool points for that bro i jumped and shot him in the air dude Anyway, let's see if there's gonna be anything in this island. I honestly don't think there is. So when I thought all hope was lost, I started hearing a lot of mobs. And this was about the same experience I had last time in a different cave. You can just hear this, bro. So I gathered this lapis that I saw right next to me and I started mining toward the sound source. I was getting really nervous that it was just gonna pop out at me. And there it is, there's the cave. And yeah, like again, there, there's a ton of mobs. I was initially kind of scared, but then I realized I can use that creeper technique again where I just have the creeper blow up and kill like basically everyone. Yes, sir. And also if I block with the shield, it doesn't really do much. Much damage to me so this is a pretty good method oh no i think a chest exploded but yeah it looks like there's a dungeon right here with a skeleton spawner i believe because these guys keep on spawning in oh a lot of xp oh shoot oh shoot uh my health i'm getting i'm getting kind of low all right we good we good let's check out what kind of loot we got here so that other chest had a silk touch book in it okay okay now what's this one? Oh, sharpness three Sharpness 3 and Silk Touch, that, that's pretty good. Along with some wheat, some rotten flesh, redstone, iron, just the usual kind of dungeon items. And those explosions also revealed some ores, so might as well mine those up too. Back at home base, I had to increase our storage capacity and also smelted our iron, but I'm kind of getting a little concerned because we haven't found any diamonds yet. I'm not sure exactly how hard those are to find, but diamonds would be pretty nice. Well now, I think it's probably time to start working on our house a bit more and uh, also patching up that like stony middle area. It doesn't really look too nice, but our house definitely needs some more work, so I'm going to get straight to that. 
So since we had a lot of stone from going mining all the time, I used that for our roof instead of just normal wood. I figured we had more of it, so might as well put this into some better use than just making bridges. Hmm, I think this looks alright. It's a bit flat, but you know what? I'll, I'll just keep it. It's whatever. Day 39, day 40, day 41, and day 42 was how long I spent perfecting the house to my liking. Maybe if we're in this world for a really long time, we'll probably have to upgrade out of this house at one point, but this thing is really cool for now. It'll probably do us well for the first 100 days. Aight, house tour time, baby. Look at this thing. Here is the front of the house. Nice and quaint. Pretty simple looking. Oh, that's a creeper over there. What is he doing in my woods area? And this tree just grew my face. Okay, then. Oh, whoa, he's right there. Run, run. Oh, whoa, that was a close call. Anyway, let's do a little 360 view of the house. You can see the side over here. The back looks pretty similar to the front. And then over here, it's, yeah, about the same thing. On the inside upstairs, it's still blank. We've got some nice torches up here. And yeah, that's about it for the house. Also, where's our iron net? I'm gonna take this iron net. I think I'm gonna make an anvil right now. Because once we get like some diamonds or something, we'll be able to use our enchanted books, like that silk touch and that sharpness. So hopefully we can find some diamonds pretty soon. Dang, that reflection on that anvil, I think you guys can see that, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we shall now continue on exploring stuff. So I remembered on this island over here, this cave down here is not fully yet explored. I think I stopped because the mobs were getting a bit too much. I am pretty confident myself, so I'm gonna try to give this another shot. There's still a bunch of ores laying around too. And as I ventured down further, I discovered a little hole which appeared to be a mine shaft. There were a ton of mobs around here, so I had to be careful. But sticking with the usual let the creeper kill itself plan worked out great. Both of those creepers simultaneously combusted, and basically everyone was dead, so. Thank you guys for uh, helping me out. Anyway, after killing some more of these mobs and lighting the place up, this first chest wasn't all too great, just a golden apple. After making my way through some of these poisonous cave spiders, I came across my second chest, which actually contained a diamond. Finally! That is our first one, which means we got the advancement diamonds. After getting everything that I thought I could have gotten from that cave back there, I started heading home. Back at home, I kind of cozied up and upgraded our space a little bit. I'm going to add another chest here and also have double furnaces too. I'm going to try to do my best to do a little bit of sorting today. And this is kind of what I came up with. Pretty simple. I got a trash chest here, another random trash chest there. Up here, we got our building blocks and materials. And down here is our goodies chest, hidden underneath those staircase thingies, kinda. Now, we also have a ton of levels, and I really want to get an enchantment table, but we need two diamonds for that, so I think it's time to go hunt to a different island. This village over here is really catching my eye. Also, if there are villagers on that island, then we should be able to take advantage of them and use them for trading, which will also help us on our journey with eventually killing the Ender Dragon. Now, once I finally got onto the village island, there were some nice surprises. There were animals, some had animal pens, we had villagers, of course, but they did not seem to have a job, so that's gonna be good. We should be able to use these guys. I did hear zombies down below me though, which was a bit worrying, but it's also good because hopefully there's some loot down there. However, making a long story short, I didn't find anything of value down there other than just some coal and some iron. We're gonna have to go check out some other islands, but this place is definitely great because of the villagers. I somehow also managed to forget about looting the houses. This is what I got, nothing too important, just some emeralds basically. But I noticed a small crack in the hole next to this crafting table here. You can kind of see it. It looked a, looked a little bit suspicious. And when I broke off the crafting table, my suspicions were correct. It looks like there was some sort of hole down there. What are these guys hiding, bro? Yo, villager, what are, what are you hiding in your basement, dude? As I went down into this area, it seemed like a dungeon, kind of. There was a villager that was held captive down here. Who would do such a thing? And a book on a lectern that just read, We Are Doomed. And I don't think there is anything else. Uh, I picked it up, but yeah, it just says we are doomed on it. That's a bit unnerving. I have a lot of questions. So I spent the next couple of days bridging over and exploring some new other islands. These weren't all that interesting. For example, this witch one, uh, I thought there was something else going on, but it's just a classic witch hut. I also mined some more and even came across some diamonds just mining on the ground looking for caves. I didn't even think that I could find diamonds just in the natural ground, but I guess you can. There was only three diamonds here, but that's still great. We can now make an enchanting table. Another island I also visited was this cool dark oak one. While I was there, I basically just got some of the wood and also fought some mobs. These days were kind of boring, I didn't really find anything. But I guess not every day can be super exciting. Just did some basic exploring. And of course, harvested my farm as well. This food supply is actually amazing now. Ladies and gentlemen, day 50. We are officially halfway there. Now to make an enchantment table, I need obsidian, and at this moment, the realization came right at me that I needed a diamond pickaxe, 
to break the obsidian, Bruh. which means that if I used three diamonds for a pickaxe, I wouldn't have enough left over to make the enchantment table. So my whole plan just fell apart in front of my eyes, I'm gonna need to find some more diamonds. But first I still came back and made myself a diamond pickaxe, so I could mine up some pieces of obsidian. I ended up going home with just 12 pieces, and when I was here I realized that I think I'm gonna need a bit more, if I want to make the portal as well as the enchantment table. On day 51, I began mining some more in our base island, like our starter island. There was some more stuff at the bottom that I realized I never even got. It was really dangerous down here though. Next, I began constructing a platform that was near my base. This was going to be the area that I put the nether portal on. I'm building this thing a little bit further than my actual house because in case any piglins do come through or something like that, they shouldn't be too close to the base, so I think I should be safe here. Now sadly, I didn't have any flint back at home, so I had to run all the way to this spruce tree island over here to grab some flint. Yo, creepers, get away from me. Alright, I think it's time, guys. Time to light up the nether portal. We're hopping inside for the first time. Let's check out what this nether looks like. Whoa, this is a pretty cool spawn room. There's some nice black stone up in here. Uh, I have this weird outline thing going on. I don't know what that's all about. This place looks pretty cool. We got some gold on the ground, some quartz on the ceiling. Alright, let's go check out the actual islands. Let's go out here. Wow, there's a... Uh, these are pretty big. Ooh, there's a pretty cool bone island over there as well. I'm gonna try to get on top of this thing to see if I can get a better view. Yeah, this place is pretty amazing. That lava lake looks sick. Oh, and there's a ruined nether portal up there as well. We're definitely gonna have to check that out. So I was bridging over here and these guests are kind of getting out of hand. It, it, I'm scared they're gonna knock me off one day. Okay, I think he's gonna leave me alone for now, but I gotta be really careful about these guests here. They can kind of scare you out of nowhere. Once I had arrived at this warped biome, I just started collecting as much stuff as I possibly could. Getting all this wood and getting all these lanterns all over the place. I just wanted to collect a little bit of everything. They could be used for some good decorations back at home too. And on my way home as I was getting these gold nuggets right here, a group of pigmans just jumped me bro. Like out of nowhere, I don't know where they came out from, but I tried making a run for it, but I realized that I was getting hit a ton. They actually ended up killing some of their own like people, so that's kind of funny. But I was sitting there and thinking whether I should fight them or not, but in the end I decided to run away. While while I was trying to get away and hide inside my portal, uh, both of the piglins actually just went inside of it. That was good because it gave me some time to heal up and just calm down a bit. Once I found them on the overworld, I knocked one of them off quickly and then the second one was easily killed. Now I made this chest right over here, our nether chest, we can see we got a lot of nice stuff here. Mostly warped stems actually, and also a ton of gold as well. That's gonna be good for trading with those piglins if we come across them again. Later in that day I crafted a fletching table and I headed off over to the village island. I was gonna try to make one of the villagers turn into a fletcher and then lock him inside one of these houses so that we could trade with him. This might take a while though, these guys are pretty stubborn, it seems like nobody wants to go and be a fletcher. Come on bro, making arrows and bows are tons of fun bro, I promise. After a of work one of these guys finally turned into a fletcher and it's nearing night time now which means hopefully he will go back to his bed very soon and then i can lock him up now checking back on him the next day i found out that he actually escaped his little house i have no idea how but i realized he probably just spawned outside because his bed is on the edge of the house well i'm gonna have to fix that anyway I did some trading with him with some of the sticks that i grinded out today made a good amount of emeralds and got the achievement what a deal now i'm gonna go inside here and fix up his bed situation oh oh yes he's going in come on stay inside there buddy come on you got this come on oh there we go let's go now he should be locked inside of there, for real this time. I also went home and crafted a blast furnace because I think I'm going to turn my other villager into a armorer. Now I'm going to place this blast furnace in the other guy's house and move the bed. Hopefully this guy will move in here. Uh, the other guy's still there, that's good. Now we just gotta give it some time. All right, next location, this sandy area back here. It just looks kinda like a desert biome. Now there actually is an end portal on this map, so we still gotta fight the Ender Dragon somehow. So we better start exploring all the islands because I know the answer is going to be on one of them to help us find out the location of the end portal. And on this desert island, there was a ton of mobs, probably left over from the nighttime before. Also, I stumbled across a couple skeletons having a fun little pool party, but they were killing some of their pals. I don't know what's up with them. They gotta, they gotta sell their issues. Well, uh, I, I kinda was just, messing around here, I was, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Made the creeper blow up right at my face. Multiple creepers come in, I started getting a bit worried now because I was toward the edge and I did not want to get knocked off here. Bunch of creepers exploding, zombies all over the place. Yeah, this is why I'm not a PvP -er. One last skeleton to kill right here, come on. All right, now I gotta patch this whole thing up. Now for a while, I just spent time exploring a bunch of different islands. Number one, of course, we're at the sand place. I found the well here and I tried digging underneath it. 
didn't really find anything. But later on the evening of day 59, I started seeing some mobs down in this weird looking hole. This is still on the desert island, by the way. It was super frustrating for me to get down. There was so much sand. I just kept on having to break all of it. Once I did reach the bottom though, I cracked open through these little things of cobblestone, peered inside, and what I saw haunts me still today. About a billion mobs just chilling in a tiny little dungeon space. That is going to take a lot of work to get cleaned out. Nevertheless, I managed to do it. Just took a lot of time and creeper explosions probably blowing up all the loot. Eventually, when I went to go retrieve the loot, my hearts actually went down to almost four. Thankfully, none of the chests actually exploded because they were kind of tucked away in the back. The first chest, we had some redstone, we had some gunpowder, and two books. One of them was Piercing 2 and the other was Power 3. That's pretty good. The second chest just had three music discs. Yeah, it was kind of trash, not gonna lie. During these exploring days, every so often I come back and trade with our villager so we can amass a good gathering of emeralds. When I first touched down on the island, um, I started hearing some creeper explosions and I had no idea where they were, so I just held out my shield in that direction. I also heard another one, the second one, like these, these gotta be glitches bro, cause I cannot see them at all and they're just exploding in my face. That's a bit scary and also ruins the entire look of the island, so I'm gonna try my best to patch some of this up. Now the surface of the island just looks pretty boring, just a bunch of trees, some ponds, some nice flowers. I'm gonna just start digging down, go mining a bit to see if there's anything under here. I started hearing mobs, which means usually there's a cave, but I think this is a dungeon since there's cobblestone. Yep, a lot of mobs in there. Now as usual, I tried going with the creeper explosion technique, and I knew that it would explode one of the chests, but when a second creeper exploded, it exploded all of the loot that was on the ground, which completely removed it all. And I saw a diamond in there too, so that's super unfortunate, man. We just lost a diamond. Do we need one more? I don't remember. So we could have gone on our enchantment table, but because of that, I don't think we can anymore. I gotta be really careful next time. Now the last island that I went on in my island exploring adventure was this slightly smaller looking birch tree island. I thought this thing was a pretty boring basic island at first glance but i began hearing some fire also noticed this cross looking thing of redstone on the ground it reminds me of a little bit of blood so that worries me i dug down and immediately found some stone brick dropped in and found this really weird temple looking thing i really was not sure what this thing was but i dug around it to see if there was anything else and to make a long story short there was nothing else that i could find pretty weird Waking up on day 69, my food source was dwindling slowly, it's time to harvest some more wheat. I later grabbed some of my emeralds and tried to level up her armor villager, but this was going to take a super long time since this guy was still pretty expensive. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do this. And the next day, I came up with an idea. It might take a bit, but it would benefit me in the long run, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go see if I can find some blazes in here. I can only see some structures kind of in the distance, but hopefully I can craft a brewing stand and be able to make weakness potions. We definitely have enough gold to make golden apples. And because his potions and golden apples combined can let me cure a villager to make him cheaper. It took me a while. I had to weave through a bunch of different islands, but I finally made it to this island, which I saw earlier. And yes, indeed, there are some blazes here. That's great, because that should mean there is a blaze spawner here. Also, oh, there's another spawner, and it looks like this one spawns wither skeletons. Wow, and this cool-looking temple thing. Okay, I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm focused on these guys. I gotta kill all these dudes first, and then I'll explore the temple. And yeah, I basically just sat here for a bit, farming off these blazes. I was pretty bad at fighting these guys, to be honest. I came close a lot of times, but I played it really safe, and whenever I got hit, I just backed down. And this move by me was kind of dumb. I decided to go out and fight while I was really low on health. After grinding for a bit, it's time to check out this weird looking temple thing. There were some cool banners and some blue flames chilling on the side. Pretty cool decorations. Over to the right we have like a little meeting room over here. Looks like there's a throne as well. What are these pigments doing, man? They're crazy smart. They can build all this. I also stumbled across a wall that had a bunch of signs on it that said a list of workers. And one of the workers, poor Piglin132, died in lava apparently. That's really sad. Such a tragedy. A book was also sitting on a desk over here that was just called Plan. We captured Herobrine and moved him to the lower level of the prison where we will investigate him and find out how he moves between worlds so that we will be able to escape from this damn place for good. That is interesting, so is Herobrine down in the basement? I continued venturing inside the depths of this piglin stronghold 
There were some really cool rooms around here, like this cool museum room with like a skeleton head, a end portal block thingy, just a bunch of really cool items and blocks, and at the very end there was even a piece of bedrock that was on display. Now over here there was this pretty cool lava lake, this is where they take their baths I guess. Also notice some chests to the side, of course I went to go loot them. This first one had a pretty good golden pickaxe, just some decent loot for the rest of it. The second chest however contained a diamond as well as a netherite scrap, so this was amazing. A curse of binding legging that I do not want though, I'll keep those in there. This place was humongous, there was a lot of rooms to cover. Here's another museum room that I found that displayed some cool wildlife. I think I found the living quarters for these piglins because um, these places actually looked a bit nice. There was a lectern that had a book that read, I figured out how we can be rich. We can just kill other piglins for gold. I'm sure my boss will give me a promotion when I present my idea at the conference room. Okay, so uh, these piglins are plotting some sort of evil plan, that's, that's not really good. After we locked this guy in the lower level of the prison, I have a feeling that he's right behind me, even though he's not there. I think it was a bad idea to summon him. Is he talking about Hero Brian? I feel like he might be. But yeah, there's uh, multiple rooms in this like living quarters area, and I th I'm guessing most of these all have books in them. It's kind of interesting. I like this. All right, let's head on over to another room over here. Yeah, we got another book to read. I have a bad feeling about this Hero Brian guy. What if he manages to escape? He will kill us. How will we even imprison him? Ooh, that sounds like a problem for you. I don't think you guys should have summoned him, guys. Looks like these piglins are in kind of a deep hole right now. Alright, this room, I don't think there is a book to read. Oh, this this piglin over here wants to fight me. There is a compass and some paper, though. Okay, this guy needs to calm down. Yo, hey, don't, don't fight me, man. I really don't want to kill you. Um, yeah, I killed him anyways. I really didn't want to, but he was just bothering me too much. Yeah, my inventory, I am struggling right now. There was even more living spaces on the other side of this compound. There was some coal, gold, and iron in this chest. And in another chest, there was some more gold and some paper. There was also some books, but I'm just not gonna read them to make this a bit quicker, because they're all about the same. Piglins wanting to kill each other, and worrying about Hero Brian. Anyway, I stole some of their bookshelves, because I need some for my enchanting table. Sorry, guys. There was also another room that looked a bit, like, satanic or, like, ritualistic. Inside of the chest, there was just a lodestone compass. I don't think I'm gonna take that, because I'm pretty sure those are just for, like, if you want to set your spawn point in the nether or something. Hopefully it's not too important, but my inventory is already full enough. Now, I was heading out of this building, and I can't believe I missed this chest down here. You guys are probably yelling at me. Anyway, I found it now. Let's see what's inside. So, what is this? Whiskey and vodka both having instant damage? I didn't know these piglins like to drink. Well, that's not very good for you, my guy. Now before I leave, this is for real now, this was the last room. At the very bottom of this huge stronghold, it kinda looked like there was a test tube or something like that. And ooh, yeah, for sure, you can see the hole there where the Herobrine or whatever was in there escaped through. That's not good, you guys probably need to have some better security going on in here. Well anyways, I wanna say a uh, huge congrats to whoever made this. This map is absolutely insane, I really love the design and just everything looks so cool about this whole like piglin fortress thing. Now remember, I have the download of this map in the description box below. I really highly encourage you guys to go check it out. It's tons of fun. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I think I'm gonna take some of these gold blocks and just replace it with netherrack. Hopefully they won't notice. I really want this gold. Ah, uh, it's good to be back. Home sweet home. Now that I'm back here, I gotta completely clean out my inventory and just put everything away. I almost forgot that the whole point I went to the nether was actually just to get some blaze rods. I got so caught up in other stuff. Well, I managed to lure both of our villagers into the same house just by putting two of their beds together. Now, I think I can do this tonight. I gotta go make some potions. There we go. Those potions are finally done. Now, let's get out of here and make those villagers' trades even cheaper. Now we just play the waiting game, and while we're waiting, I want to check out this really cool looking mesa biome over there. That thing looks so cool. The only problem is it's a bit far, so this might take a while. Oh, there we go, Zombie Doctor. It looks like um, our fellow villagers woke up over there. I'll have to go check up on them in a bit, but first, I want to see this mesa biome. Um, not gonna lie, I had to go back and forth a couple times, but look at this path, man. This is huge. This took a ton of cobblestone slabs to make, and a lot of time, of course. I'm really excited, though. Let's get to exploring this place. Now, there was like a cave that was on the surface that you could easily enter into. 
and it appeared to just be like a little mine shaft. Of course, there were a lot of mobs around me. I had to be really careful. A lot of creepers too. I don't want stuff blowing up my loot like last time. I've learned from my mistakes, hopefully. Okay, coast clear. Let's make a run for it. This chest over here. What do we got inside? Lapis lazuli and pumpkin and melon seeds. Hey, we can start a new farm. The rest of it was just a classic mine shaft. The loot was mediocre at best. Not really much in it. Just a lot of mobs to fight. This place is huge as well, so I think I'm gonna come back to this thing later since it's not too important for us right now. I didn't get any of the gold that I saw. There was a ton of it but i'm pretty sure we have more than enough right now now i'm back at home i'm smelting up all of the iron that i mined from this really quick mining trip and i've realized that my armor is getting a little bit low on durability so this will be the perfect time to get our armor set up i think we'll be doing that really soon well first i think i'm going to apply silk touch onto a fresh new iron pickaxe because that can come in handy sometimes and mostly i'm probably just going to use it for getting that nether gold and for the rest of day 85 i went back returning to some old islands that i didn't fully explore and i decided to go mining for a little bit because we gotta find some diamonds i really want this enchantment table gosh this might take a while well inside of the flower hills island i managed to stumble across some diamonds after looking at some coal for a sec and there we go it was three pieces but that is more than enough that we need to make this enchantment table this is amazing now we can actually put some of our levels to use and that night i headed home and crafted our enchantment table i was unsure if i should put it on the inside or outside but i ultimately put it on the inside and i experimented with some different placements of the bookshelves but i think level 14 is probably the highest that we can get right now. I think it might be time to grind some more books out. This might be difficult. I need to find some cows around here. I think I've seen them on some islands though. Alright, I'm probably going to regret this, but... Oh yeah, I definitely do. I should have waited until I saw like Unbreaking 3 or something at least. That's kind of doo-doo, I'm not gonna lie. Bah. Okay, anyways, let's check this place out. You can see I made a little bit of upgrades, including the entrance here. Now these guys are fully healed. Ooh, 26 sticks. That's a that's a pretty good discount, I guess. And then over- Ooh, that, that is amazing. That's what we want here. One emerald for a legging. That saves us so many emeralds. All right, I'm gonna go grind some trading with these guys. Try to get them as high level as I can. So I began trading sticks with our Fletcher, cutting down a bunch of oak trees, leveling up our armor villager, and started a little gathering of cows that I was trying to grow. Eventually, I'm probably gonna move them closer to my actual base, because these guys are many islands away. Whoa, pink sheep, where'd you come from? While I was working on the cows, I forgot that I needed some papers, so I got up on this pillar to see if there were some sugarcane over there, and indeed there was. Time for me to get over there. Once I arrived on this ocean island, I think, there was this uh, wandering trader, except he was kind of gone and just left his llamas behind. That's a bit sad. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, we got what we came for. Here is some sugarcane just chilling on the side. Oh, cute little turtle here as well. And finally, this shipwreck. We got a chest down here with projectile protection leather cap and a blast protection pair of leather pants. The rest of the chest was okay, we got 13 coal, some bamboo, and some gunpowder as well. I'm not gonna take the poisonous potatoes though. On the way back home, uh, I missed a crucial detail. I didn't know there was actually sugarcane on this desert island right here. I don't know how I managed to miss this. That's, that's a little bit embarrassing. The next day, I instantly started working on the sugarcane farm. I made it an extended platform on the side of our nether portal. I was doing some scary stuff, man. Using a water bucket to make myself go underneath the platforms, that is a long fall down. Right now, I'm here with the villagers and I have a lava bucket because of this trade. Look at how much that increases his XP. Alright, we lose a bucket here, but that's probably a lot more worth it than what I was doing before. The next day, I traded a lot of sticks with our Fletcher villager, just trying to amass a bunch of emeralds for when our armor villager actually levels up to sell us some diamond armor. Alright, so I was not expecting this, but they only cost one emerald each? That is such a bargain. I, of course, I got both of them. Feels like I kind of robbed from him, bro. I kind of feel bad. Well, some of the enchants are not the best, so let's see if we can go back and make it a bit better. I made my grindstone, put these guys in, and I'm probably probably just gonna get prot 2 from- the yeah, just prot 2 because... yeah, only prot 2. We only have a level 14. I think next I'm gonna work to get a little bit more bookshelves for this. Prot 2 on both of my diamond armor pieces, we look pretty sick now. Good morning guys, I don't know how a sheep got in there, but one of you has got to die today, I'm really so- whoa, hey, hey! Jesus! Holy, what is up with creepers just exploding out of nowhere in this video? I am so lucky that it didn't break anything from the cow pen because I do not want to gather those guys up again. Now back at our armor villager over here, I'm going to try to max them out. That way we can get our helmet and our chest plate as well. If it's all for one diamond, dude, I don't know what to say. Yeah, it is. Of course, it's all for one diamond. This is so awesome. Okay, now finally, it's time to get full diamond armor. The first one we got, Prot 3. I think I'm going to go ahead and take that. Whoa, that is a very good helmet for level 24 for enchant. And for the chest play, I don't really want projectile protection, so I think I'm gonna do a reroll on this one. Alright, we're back and unbreaking three. That's kind of a gamble, but I'm going to take it. Let's see what we got here. Just unbreaking three, I'm totally fine with that. Now that we have full diamond armor, we finally can bully some mobs. 
Back to exploring some islands. Now this jungle one over here has always looked super cool to me. I think we should definitely go see that one next. While I was on this jungle island, I gathered some cocoa beans and also stumbled across some pandas. These guys are looking really cute in this like bamboo forest. Can't you ride these guys with like a saddle? That'd be so awesome if I had one of these as a pet. Entering into the temple, there were a ton of skeletons inside of it. I thought there was actually a spawner for them, but I, I think it's just natural mob spawning. Anyways, after making it past those skeleton guards on the front, I went down into the basement looking out for tripwire is I'm pretty sure there are tripwires in this place. Oh my goodness, more skeletons. Let me let me kill these guys off first. Um, I realize that I'm standing on a tripwire. It's not seemingly doing anything. It's kind of odd. Wow, another skeleton. There's only skeletons in here. Okay, at least they're not creepers though. And another tripwire here. Uh, what? Oh, I think the mobs have been walking on this a lot, so it, it probably used up all the arrows or something that was inside the dispenser. That kind of makes sense. Anyway, the loot here, this chest is not too great. Just an emerald and a saddle, it looks like. Also, these levers, these guys have to do something, right? I can't really figure it out. Maybe it, like, moves the staircase? This could be it? I I'm not really sure. All right, I think I finally figured this puzzle out. Um, yes, sir, it drops down into a hole down here. What do we got inside of this chest? Ooh, gold and iron, that's it. I'll take it, though. That's always nice. Alright, so we got two bows here. I forgot about this, but I'm gonna combine them. I'm gonna enchant it. Let's see what we can get here. I don't have enough levels. Uh, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Phew, I'm back. Uh, let's see if we can get just power three. And yes, it's only power three, but I will take that 100%. It's very nice for us. I think I'm gonna head back over to our jungle island way over there and go mining. Okay, so I've actually changed my mind and I want to go over to this new island instead to mine. This is a pretty cool, like, mega spruce biome with the two by two trees. I mean, most islands don't even have anything cool in the bottom anyway. It's mostly just caves and stuff. Why not check out a new island? And while I'm saying that most islands don't have anything, is that fire that I'm hearing? Hold on, we, we gotta dig down here and investigate this. Hold on, I think I found something. Whoa, what, what is, what is this? This looks really weird, scary. Whoa, well, hold on, hold on, let me get a good look at this. We got some fire, we got some like iron bars on the side, ooh, gold. Um, yeah, more iron bars, a lot of fire. Is this like a, what is this red thing? Is this a pentagram? Bro, isn't that like some satanic cult kind of stuff? Why is this in Minecraft, bro? There's no- this can't be Hero Brian, right? Uh, there's a book on Electron, of course. Should we read it? Of course we are gonna read it. Okay, negative 710155XY. What do those exactly mean? Um... Wait, wait a minute. What if negative 710 is actually the X coordinate and 155 is a Z coordinate? What if they're giving us coordinates to something? This could be the end portal that we're looking for because so far I've gone to a lot of islands and I still have not found the end portal, which is a bit weird. Yeah, uh, that, that's getting me excited, man. Let's go. Let's get out of here. This place is giving me really weird vibes. But sadly, this is when our adventure ends because it is day 100 today. This morning marks the 100th day that we have been inside of this lovely world. Now, if you're watching Watching it still all the way to the very end, I want to thank you guys so much for sticking through this entire video with me. I know it's a long one. I originally did not want this to actually turn out so long, but I was having so much fun. So yeah, it, it just it was a longer video than I thought. Oh, and also, if you're wondering where I'm going, I'm going to breed the cows actually. This is how long it takes for me to walk all the way to my cows. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. If you guys want me to continue it, well, I, I really want to continue it, man. We left on such a weird, like, area. We just found, like, a secret that gave us some coordinates. Who knows what this could mean? I'll continue the series if I see enough support for it. Obviously, I only want to do videos that you guys actually enjoy, so make sure you slap that like button to tell me that you actually like these videos, and also dislike it if you don't like it. Let's see if we can hit, I don't know, a thousand likes? That's a lot, but if you guys can do it, a part two will definitely be coming. Also, if we don't manage to hit a thousand likes, I might end up just making part two anyway, just because I really love this series. So go out there, tell your friends to go like the video. I'm sure if everyone watching this video likes it, we'll definitely reach that goal. Well, anyway, guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope all of you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time.